Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial in C Sharp making a C Sharp Mac OS app using Visual Studio and Xcode. In the last video we made a basic app where we had this label and whenever we push this button we would have button pushed and when we reset it the text would go away. And that was a very basic introduction into C Sharp and uh, using uh, making macOS apps. So today what we're going to do is expand on that and make a slightly more interesting app, but not that interesting. We'll get onto that later. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add in a text box or text field into here. And then we are going to link this in and let's call it um, text input and now we can change this slightly so it'll actually work because last time it didn't work like this and then what we want to do is add property assign and IB outlet and S text field and then star uh, text input and then we can save that and then if we go back into Visual Studio and then view controller designer we'll see that we've got our text input here so now we can start doing this so what we're going to be doing is we're going to have here in our app we are going to be asked to enter the first number and then we will enter it and then we'll push the push button which we're renamed to next just to make it a bit better um, so we might write free and then click next that will save that as number one and then we uh, will put another it will tell us to put the next number in. We might put 5 and then click next and then we get the answer is 15. And then uh, we'll be able to do the whole thing again after that. And then if we reset it midway through, then it will just reset and ask for the first number again. So let's do that. So what we're going to do first is in our here we need to count the steps that we've done so first up here we're going to set int step zero and this will determine what we do in our press button and then int num one and then int num two so we're not giving these a value um but that should work fine and then what we're going to say here if step is zero then we're going to do num1 equals convert to int and for uh, 16 and then we're going to say uh, text input I think it is dot string value and then that's essentially going to here we going to have if we have three we're going to have three as a string and then convert it to a number then we're saving that and what we can do is we're going to set our input uh our text input sorry to a blank string otherwise we we'll keep what we had before which we don't want and then we're going to add one to the step and then we're going to set the text to enter the first number or enter the next number sorry And now what we want to do is an else if. So else if um, we're going to say step is 1. Then we're going to do essentially the same thing so we can copy this. It's going to be the easiest. But we're going to set it to number 2. And then we're going to set the step to 0. 
And then we're going to set the text to the answer is blank. Is and then plus converts to string. To string. And then we're going to be converting num1 multiplied by num2. And we need another bracket there. And now this should be almost working, but when we reset, we want to say enter the first number. And we're going to set the step to zero. Now we should have this working. So let's check when we start this. And we should have this functioning how we intend it to. Okay. So here we don't actually have this um, quite right. So we're going to set into the first number here. It's the one thing I forgot. <laughs> Okay, enter the first number. So we're going to enter 3. That hasn't quite... Oh yeah, it has. Enter the next number, it says. After that, um, we're going to set it to 5. The answer is 15. And we can just do the next one there. Enter the next one num number 5. 1 times 5 is going to be 5. And then if we say 9, and we don't actually want to do 9... We can reset it and we do the first number again. So we can do 6 and 7, which is 42. So that's a very basic overview um, of making multiplication now in our C Sharp app. Hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you next time.